Yeah, I'm trying to think of one. And there is a very special rebel. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Allons aux enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Contre nous de la tyrannie, l'étendard sanglant est levé, l'étendard sanglant est levé. Entendez-vous dans les campagnes mugir ces féroces soldats, ils viennent jusque dans nos bras. Égorger nos fils et nos compagnes aux armes citoyens. Formez vos bataillons. Marchons, marchons, qu'un sang impur abreuve nos sillons. Boum, boum, boum. Bonjour, et voilà, The French Revolution. Euh, Why the French Revolution? First, we were the first to develop the notion of human rights, and I think these days it's important to remember. But today, why also, 100 years after the French Revolution, there was what I call the Art Revolution in Paris. Imagine, with the Impressionists, they broke the mold of the Academy, you know, by Le Salon des Refusés, they started to paint outside, they, they, they changed the rules. They, and why how they, were they able to paint outside? Because we were able to put paint in tubes, you know? We, we, we'll talk about that later. We also invented some uh, brushes with uh, flat brushes and all that. But we, we'll get back to that. Today, what I want to tell you is this plein air convention is where this plein air comes from. Plein air means paint outside, in the air. And that was in Paris during, in the 19th century. And it was not only because paint was in tubes, you know, brushes were flat, but also because we invented new pigment at the time. Before, you didn't have bright blue, you know, like ultramarine or cobalt blue, you know, have like bright red, solid, you know, like cadmium reds and all that. So that allowed those artists to go paint outside and with those bold color, bold strokes, brushes, and be able to carry outside, that's how it started. It started, in fact, it was Monet who painted a sunrise in uh, the harbor of Le Havre and uh, I remember people say, oh, that's a good impression. And that's how the name Impressionism. So Impressionism is about painting. You don't all, only paint exactly what you see. You are in the element. You feel the, you smell, you feel the wind, the temperature. You are absorbed by the nature. And that's what plein air painting is all about. You know, you'll see many teachers uh, that will show you different techniques, but it's all about you, the journey, your relationship with nature, and you know, it's all about having fun. You know, you paint, and you know my story, if you paint with good product, you know, that this is Sennelier, uh, pure pigment, you know, it gives you, it's very easy. This is the trick. When you're beginning, start with good product. It's like, you're not a chef, you want to do a salad, you buy a beautiful, juicy tomato and you make a good salad. So when you use good color, it's easier to make a beautiful bark. Of course, you'll have many teachers gonna give you some tricks, gonna, you're gonna learn a lot, but you know, treat yourself, you know, and have fun. Go and start your plein air journey today and good luck with that. And on that note, go pay en plein air. Bravo! Woo!